Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here, and welcome, friends, to another Eugene's Ramble Time. That's right, friends. This is my 14th Eugene's Ramble Time, and today we're going to be talking about the QQ Sentai Go Go 5 DVD from Shout Factory. And it is definitely an honor to be doing another Ramble Time on these nifty little DVDs. And so, anyway, this DVD was released on April 24, 2018 for a retail of $53.97. And, of course, as it's recording, this DVD is about to be released. So, anyway, and, of course, I got mine two weeks earlier before the actual release date. So, I pre-ordered mine back in January 2018, way before the actual release date. This DVD was announced of its release early January, three weeks before the Giga Man DVD hit the shelves. Or if you pre-order it to get it two weeks early. So making this the 8th Sentai series to release in North American on Regional 1 DVD. But again, when you do pre-order it with Shout Factory, you get it, uh, two, you get it two weeks early than the actual release date. Kind of how I did it, and like I said, got mine two weeks early. So, took me three days to marathon and complete the series. This was my first time seeing this series fully subbed. Alright, so here is some information on GoGo5, friends. And GoGo5 is the 23rd Sentai of the series that aired in 1999-2000 to with 50 episodes and 2 movies. GoGo5 Sudden Shock and New Warrior and GoGo5 vs. Giga Man, the crossover of GoGo5 and Giga Man, mainly the 23rd Sentai vs. the 22nd Sentai. And uh, just like the last 7 Sentai DVDs of Shout Factory, this does not have the movie and versus movie, just the 50 episodes of the series. But it would have been nice to have the movies along with the 50 episodes, but it is what it is. And think about it, on the box it does say the complete series. And probably that means, you know, all 50 episodes and the two movies. Sadly, it does not come to that. So it's just mainly the 50 episodes and that is it. So again, like I said, it is what it is. But uh, friends, if you are familiar on how I do these Eugene's Ramble Times, you know, mainly talking about these DVDs here, you know how I would do it. Pretty much, I would get into the heart on the DVD, uh, mainly showing off the case and um, the discs and then the plots and then uh, nice screenshots, the menus and mainly my input on the series and so on. So, uh, so like I said, if you're familiar with this, great. Uh, um, and pretty much, it's pretty much the same uh, pattern I'm going to be doing from my last uh, seven ramble times to this ramble time. So uh, now let's go ahead, friends, and get into the heart of this DVD. So now let's go ahead and get into the heart of this DVD and pretty much taking a look at the front cover of it. And uh, friends, I'm going to go ahead and say this, but if you are a die-hard fan of GoGo -Go 5, then this is a ramble time for you. And so, anyway, taking a look at the front cover right here, it says, before Power Rangers, there was Super Sentai. And right here, it's got the uh, QQ Sentai GoGo 5 logo here. A nice shot of the GoGo 5 uh, right here. And looks like in the background, they are inside the Saima Paradico, which is the villains of the series, the, the, vil no, the Saima's Fortress. Uh, but I do admire the front covers we've been getting in the past. And... This one as well, and I'm very, very thankful Shout Factory gives us that. But anyway, on the bottom here, you can see you got some nice screen captures here. And right here, it says QQ Sentai Go Go 5, the complete series. On the side, it says eight DVD sets. So we do have eight, uh, eight uh, discs in this, uh, in this DVD here, meaning we have 50 episodes. Right here, it says QQ Sentai Go Go 5, Super Sentai, QQ Sentai Go Go 5, the complete series. Shout Factory's trademark and DVD video. On the back of the case here, of course, uh, we've seen this in the last seven DVDs of the Shout Factory DVDs of Sentai. But it says, before Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, there was Super Sentai. And of course, right here, it says, see where the worldwide phenomenon began with the original Japanese series that inspires the Power Rangers franchise. And of course, right here is the plot here. But um, I will be reading this later on in this ramble time. So, but for right now, if you want to pause it and read it now, that's up to you. Of course, right here, it does say it includes all 50 episodes and got a nice shot of the uh, the 5 Google 5 there. And then uh, more screen captures here. And uh, right here, got uh, Shout Factory's trademark, Saban brand, DVD video, Dolby Audio, NTSC, not rated and in color. And of course, uh, it does have uh, 
Japanese Dolby Digital Stereo, English subtitles. Total running time is approximately 20.75 hours. And of course, the uh, website to Shop Factory. And one more thing on the back here, I wanted to uh, uh, show you uh, right here. It does say DVD producer Brian Ward and package design Andrew Robertson. And so again, like I said, I have admired how Shop Factory on the type of art covers we've been getting. And I'm very, very thankful for that. So thank you, Shop Factory. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside DVD case and see how our DVD discs are stored inside. And so as you can see, nicely secure and organized in here, you know, for your eight discs. And so anyway, taking a look at the uh, the discs here and pretty much this is how the other seven are going to look like. We'll just take a look, real co close look of this one. Got that nice cover art here and of course, you know, Gogo 5's logo here. And then uh, it does say disc one. And then, you know, of course, the running time is 175 minutes. So, which is almost, which is two hours. So, Super Sentai, QQ Sentai, Gogo Fighter Complete Series. And so, anyway, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you the uh, number of episodes that are on these discs here. But uh, this one has episodes one through seven. This two has episodes eight through 14. This three has episodes 15 to 20. This four has episodes 21 through 26. This five has episodes 27 to 36. This six has episodes uh, 33 through 38. This seven has episodes 39 through 44. And this 8 has episodes 45 through 50, which is the final episode. And so as you can see, definitely nicely secure and everything. And um, uh, one thing I do want to mention that, you know, the, the episode pattern for Gogo 5 is pretty much the same as the Giga Man episode pattern. Um, and of course, the first two uh, discs have 7 episodes. And the last 6, uh, six discs have 6 episodes per disc. So that's pretty much how Giga Man did it. And of course, now Gogo 5 did the same thing. So. so the running time per episode is 24 minutes. Now, this one and this two have a running time of 175 minutes. That's because they both have seven episodes per disc. Now, this three, this four, this five, this six, this seven, and this eight have a running time of 150 minutes. So think about it. This is a all-day marathon here. Um, you know, uh, 20.75 hours here, friends. So like I said, making this a all-day marathon, unless if you want to just take a break from GoGo5 and just do it one day after the next, kind of like what I did because I did a three-day marathon on this series. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, open up the case. I'm going to take the uh, sleeve out just so we can get a better view of the inside of the cover here. And so here it is. Um, I, I got to say, I really admire uh, Shout Factory's work here on how they do these, the inside here. But I like the fact they do have the disc numbers and the episode names. And so get a little close up here and you can see episode one has Rescue Soldiers Rise Up. And then I'm going to just go down the line here. And then episode 50 is called Burning Rescue Spirits. And you can see in the background a little bit uh, the Gogo 5 on the ropes or something. And uh, really neat here. Now on the next side here, we've got nice pictures of the Gogo 5 here. A uh, nice shot of Matsuri. And then Matsuri with that kid. And then uh, Matoi and Nagare. And then uh, here's a nice shot of the 5 Gogo 5 in the cockpit. Really nice. You can see the, their eyes through their visors. And then uh, here's a nice shot of Zambisi and uh, along with Go Red, Go Blue, and Go Green. And then a nice shot of the GoGo 5 in their civilian forms. And uh, pretty much, friends, here is the back. So.
Now the next thing I want to talk about, friends, is the subtitles, and uh, you'll see um, you'll see the subtitles later on in this ramble time of my screenshot. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, of course, the subtitles on the uh, Google 5 uh, DVD is pretty much the same from the Giga Man, uh, Mega Ranger, Car Ranger, O Ranger, and Cucker Ranger. So really no difference. It's just regular white fonts and so on. So like I said, again, you will see that in my screenshots later on. But uh, one thing I'm going to go ahead now is uh, talk about this. And some of you are probably asking me this, but I will answer it for you. Uh, some of you probably ask me, is there a Time Ranger promo on the final episode of Go Go 5? Sadly, friends, there is not. But we already got the announcement from uh, Shop Factory about uh, Time Ranger will be a release uh, coming mid this year. So I will talk about that later on in this ramble time. And so now, friends, I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to some footage of you know me, me showing you the menus of this DVD. So let's go ahead friends and get to it. All right friends, here we go with the menus. All right, so we have the option play all English uh, episode list and subtitle options. So let's go ahead and uh, hit subtitle options. And of course, as you can see the menu fo uh, format is uh, pretty much the same. Of course, we do have the Gogo 5 motif look. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we have our choice to having our English subtitles on or off. So let's go ahead and have them on. And let's go back to the main menu. And then uh, let's go to episode list. And of course, episode list is pretty much the same here where you can just watch a particular episode. If you want to watch just episode 3, you can watch strictly episode three, and it'll, after at the after episode three is over with, you go back to this menu here. So anyway, and of course the next option we have is um, play all. Of course, play all is where you can play all seven episodes or six episodes, depending on the dish you watch. So uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the main menu, let you listen to that nice GoGo 5 theme, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and check out the uh, screenshots I have for you. So, enjoy. All right, friends, so here we go with the screenshots. And uh, while the screenshots will be going on, I will be reading to you the plot. And I have three different plots here I'm going to read of GoGo5. Uh, one plot that came off of SuperSentai.com, which is a very reliable source and pretty much very, very helpful for my ramble times. And then another plot that came from Wikipedia.org. And then another plot that came off of the DVD case of the Shout Factory DVD. And so, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And remember, I will have my friend the text popping up if I make an error. And uh, I do have 35 screenshots in total. And pretty much just giving you what I've seen from my eyes and what's coming off of this uh, GoGo 5 DVD of Shout Factory. So, I hope you're all ready to hear me read to you the plot. So, here's the first one that came off of SuperSentai.com. So, here we go with the screenshots and this plot here. It says here, the Tatsumi siblings have been without their father because he has been developing fighting equipment to combat an uprising of a demon family known as the Summon. Dr. Tatsumi recruits his, his children, who all have rescue related professionals, to fight the Summon. So that's the first one, and uh, again, my text will be popping up, so let's go ahead and get to the next plot. So here we go with the next plot, friends, and which came from wikipedia.org. And so as it says here, Grandy has been waiting for the day of resurrection, the day when the planets are in alignment of the Grand Cross. Her children descend to the earth to make it a realm of darkness. Uh, ten years earlier, Dr. Mondo Tosami of the Tosami Disaster Prevention Institute, despite his eminence, was an was unable to convince everyone about his belief that this event would occur. He left his family so he could secretly develop and construct the rescue system. 
Now, in 1999, Dr. Tasumi appeared again to give the means to save the world to his children as the GoGo -Go 5 team. And so that's pretty much uh, what this plot states here. And so let's go ahead and get to the plot that comes off of the DVD cover. All right, and here is the last plot I'm going to read to you, and pretty much it's the plot that comes off of the DVD case. And of course, if you if you already read the uh, the plot off the DVD case, that's fine. Or if you didn't feel like pausing the, the video to read it, then that's fine. I don't mind reading this. But anyway, it says the Grand Witch Grandian has been waiting for the day of resurrection, a day when the planets are in alignment so that her children can descend to the Earth and turn it into a realm of darkness. Ten years prior, Professor Tosami of Tosami Disaster Prevention Institute had predicted this event, but nobody uh, believed him. He secretly developed and constructed the rescue system. Now, Professor Tosami appears again with the means to save the world, and the hero heroic QQ Sentai GoGo 5 team springs into action. And so, that is the plot on the DVD cover, and pretty much that's all the plots I'm going to be reading to you here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and give you all my input on the series of GoGo 5 since I was finally able to see the series sub thanks to uh, Shout Factory. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the characters of GoGo 5, mainly referring to Matoi, uh, Nagare, Sho, Daimo, and Matsure. And uh, I got to say, all five characters were very tolerable. Of course, Matoi, Go Red, uh, kind of got on my nerves, but I kind of understand his role as being the eldest son and making sure that uh, the other four siblings do their job as the Gogo 5 team. I understand that. Of course, he got mad because uh, he that Nagare was supposed to watch Daimo in a battle with the uh, Saima clan. And of course, Daimo got uh, hurt. A little spoiler there. But um, anyway, so like I said, uh, Matoi did get on my nerves, but you know, in the end, I kind of saw a different light in him but anyway now nagare glow uh, go blue um i really admire his uh intelligence for science uh he is the reason why gogo 5 was able to upgrade their arsenal uh to fight the salmon clan and um i really admire that about him now show go green uh i really <laughs> i really liked the character of a show um he saw a side of a leaner boy where no one else didn't you know that he was more than a robot he was a robot with feelings and you know they were going to dismantle him and you know do all that other stuff to him now daimo go yellow of course daimo is being the uh, the last son of the uh the five siblings here kind of like almost like the baby and so you know he was kind of the emotional type and um Kind of like how I am, you know, the emotional type here. And now Matsure, uh, uh, Go Pink, the only female of the group. I really loved Matsure. She was like my favorite character out of the five. She uh, really had a very uh, good heart. And, you know, her heart was rescuing people. And, you know, I guess she was that type of person. She could not stand to see a person hurt. And uh, which is something I kind of... Uh, understand you know seeing people hurt like that now i'm gonna go ahead now and talk about the suits and the designs and the motif of gogo 5. i really like it how they did uh did this with the motif of the series you know the motif of gogo -Go, Go -Go 5 is rescue so you know of course when you hear qq sentai gogo -Go 5 qq means 99 so and then rescue and first aid so you know, um, I really admire how they, they put all that on the suits and how they did the color schemes and, you know, uh, the weapons that they have for the suits of GoGo -Go 5. And that's the one thing I really did like about the suits. I mean, I, I, I really did like the suits in Lightspeed Rescue, but it's now more into the Sentai standard. So uh, that's how I feel about the characters of the series the suits and the designs and the motif of GoGo -Go 5. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the theme of GoGo -Go 5. And I got to say, I really enjoyed both the opening and ending theme of GoGo -Go 5. 
But the opening theme has two different versions here, a Japanese version and an English version. But of course, we've heard the, J the Japanese version on episodes 1 through 43, 45 through 50. And then we heard the English version on episode 44 in English only. And of course, reason for that with the opening uh, theme was, you know, pretty much uh, it was the last episode of the year before the year changes. And this was a special episode with memories. Pretty much the five Google five reminiscing back on what happened that year in 1999. You know, their battle, you know, them becoming Google five, you know, their battle with the Simon clan and so on. Now, the ending theme of GoGo5. The ending theme, and, and, oh, and again, um, I really did enjoy the opening uh, theme of both versions of GoGo5, but the English version, I really, really like the English version. Now, the ending theme of GoGo5. Of course, the ending theme only had one version, and that was the Japanese version only. So, we've heard the ending theme pretty much on all 50 episodes of GoGo5. So, um, and so in other words, I like them all, you know, I, it was a nice tune to both of them, mainly the entire soundtrack of GoGo5, because every time we would have a debuted episode of a certain mecha, boy, they'd be playing that music and everything, and it had a nice, nice tune to it. So, so all in all, I love the soundtrack of GoGo5. And so now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the allies of GoGo5. Of course, we had this guy um, in just about every episode of Gogo 5, but Professor Mondo Tatsumi, the father of the five siblings, and mainly the father of Gogo 5. He was a very tolerable character. I enjoyed him, you know, and, you know, how much work and effort he put into creating the Gogo 5 to fight off this, this, um, this clan called the Salmon Clan. Now, of course, we've only seen this person in, like, the last two episodes of the series of Gogo 5, but Risoko Tasami, that is the mother of the five siblings, pretty much the mother of the Gogo 5, really. And of course, she was in a coma. Uh, she was uh, placed in a coma way back in 1992 from a crash that happened because uh, she was on a mission to finding the five siblings' father, Mondo Tasami. But an accident happened and she was in a coma. So, she finally woke up seven years later in 1999, well, 2000, really. Um, and she was in a coma for that long, seven years. But pretty much she had a dream about pretty much the five siblings, you know, fighting the Simon clan and everything that happened during that year, 1999. So we, we've only seen much of her and everything. But, you know, in episode 50 of Gogo 5, they were all reunited. Mondo Tasame, Risoko Tasame, and the five siblings, pretty much a nice family reunion there. Now, um, the next character I want to talk about that was very tolerable was Kelso Hase. Uh, she is the reason why the Sigma Project, which is a black version of Max Victory Robo, exists, and pretty much the reason why the Gogo Five were able to defeat the Salmon Clan, thanks to that final mecha. Now, of course, I'm going to talk about the uh, Analysis Robo uh, Mint. Uh, Mint was pretty like a navigator to the Gogo 5, you know, very, very to tolerable, you know, uh, pretty much a, had like a very childish voice, but it really was the kind of voice you can tolerate, in my opinion. And of course, the last uh, ally I want to talk about is Big Dozer. Uh, Big Dozer only made one appearance in in episode uh, forty six, and mainly was created was mainly a friend of Nagare and uh, Sho, and died in that episode. But all around, uh, very very tolerable. Now I'm gonna go ahead now and talk about the mechas of GoGo Five. I gotta say, I really like designs of all those mechas. I mean, Victory Robo. Love Victory Robo. Love how the way it combined together with the five Libby mechas, Red Ladder, Blue Thrower, Green Hover, Yellow Armor, and Pink Aider. Green, uh, Grand Liner. I really did like how, you know, it was a huge mecha because it was, it was you know, pretty much the carrier to the other uh, QQ machines. But, you know, of course, you've got Grand Liner 1, Grand Liner 2, Grand Liner 3, Grand Liner 4, and Grand Liner 5. Then Max Shuttle, which is pretty much uh, Liner Boy, and of course, you know, with Victory Robo and Liner um, Boy combined together to become Max Victory Robo. And then uh, we had uh, Victory Mars. 
and of course which had red mars one blue mars two green mars three yellow mars four and pink mars five now i liked i really did like victory mars something about victory mars i really really like and then we had the final mecha of the series and that was the sigma project which is a black version of max victory robo uh, that was a very powerful mecha there. It was mainly the last mecha that uh, Mondo Tassimi created for the GoGo 5 and pretty much like an emergency backup mecha in case the other ones failed. So anyway, well, that's my opinion on the mechas and the theme song and the allies. And uh, like I said, pretty much everything in the series of GoGo 5 is pretty, pretty tolerable. All right, and the last thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the villains of the series, and they are known as the Saima Clan, and there are two ways of spelling it or pronouncing it, so I got that in my text as we speak. And so anyway, well, here, the, the fortress to, uh, uh, to where the Saima Clan uh, hide at is called the Summon Paradico. and uh, the villain of the uh, series is called Grand Witch Grandier. And she is the mother of the four siblings. And let's put it this way. She is truly, truly evil because she only cared about herself. But um, anyway, so here are the siblings here. So if you understand the concept here, we got siblings, you know, the Gogo Five are siblings. So the good guys. And so the Sama clan have siblings, which are the bad guys. So think about the concept here. But uh, anyway, here we have Dark King Zavizi. She, he is the firstborn of the Grand Witch Grandier. Then we have Beast Baron Kaboda, which is the secondborn to uh, the uh, Grand Witch Grandier. Then we have the Evil Spirit Princess Dinas, which is the thirdborn to the uh, Grand Witch Grandier. And then we have the Infant Demon Drop, or Prince Salamandus, which he does, uh, Drop does become Prince Salamandus in episode 26 of Gogo 5. And he is the fourth born. So, anyway, uh, real quickly, I'll just give you my input, but I do like uh, uh, Zavisi. Uh, he really takes his role as being the first born, kind of similar to uh, Matoy. Matoy being that annoying, you know, taking charge as the you know the eldest son making sure his team does it right and just being annoying at the same time here as to Zifi doing uh, Zenvisi uh, being the same way you know being more of a calm and you know making sure his siblings do the job right to you know having the earth as theirs you know now the next uh, character uh, the next uh, villain I want to talk about is the Spellmaster Pierre. I really like Pierre. I mean, I do like how he does his famous chant, you know, it's Amius, Amius, Amidine. I really like that. And um, he's very funny in the series, you know, to say that, you know, he just, he's pretty much a Spellmaster, you know, he does his spells to revive the the monsters and uh, then he, uh, he revives them to make them grow and so the Gogo 5 can fight them in the mechas. And of course, we do have the uh, Spirit Servant Imps. They're like little henchmen, you know, uh, little mooks. And, um, you know, that's, they pretty much, you know, they're like little bee henchmen for the Salmon Clan for the Gogo 5 to fight. And then, um, of course, this was only one episode uh, these guys appeared in, but it's Dina's Imp Bodyguard which was episode 35 of GoGo5. Now, again, like I said, I understand the concept here, you know, they had siblings on the good side and siblings on the bad side. And I kind of like that, that concept. I think this was a neat and clever idea here that they decided to do here. But all in all, they all are very tolerable, all the villains. and um, But I do like Zenvisi a little more than all the villains here. Uh, Dina's, she's okay. She's okay. Um, of course, the Grand Witch, Granny, she didn't really care about the four siblings. She didn't even care if they were going to be killed or not or eliminated. One of the two. But uh, anyway, so that's pretty all my input here. Uh, the villains, very tolerable. 
the whole entire series was very tolerable. Uh, at one point, friends, I thought I was going to get bored with the series, but no, never was the case. And so, anyway, well, friends, uh, that is it. Uh, it is time to go ahead and wrap up this ramble time on the uh, GoGo 5 DVD from Shout Factory. So, let's go ahead and conclude this ramble time. So, here we go. Well, friends, that is it for this ramble time, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and like I said earlier, this ramble time is dedicated to all you GoGo -Go 5 fans out there. But I really enjoyed uh, marathon this uh, series, and you know, this was my very first time seeing the entire series of GoGo -Go 5 subbed, and which I had a lot of fun. There was a brief moment in time I kept thinking I was going to get bored with this series, but that really wasn't the case, and I really enjoyed it. So in a way, friends, I do highly recommend you watch this series. Uh, go on ShoutFactory.com and pick you, uh, go get you a copy of this DVD, because you'll ne you won't be sorry. And um, anyway, and also I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention this now. Um, our next Sentai coming up after GoGo Five is Time Ranger. Well, we do have uh, information from Shout Factory that. Time Ranger has been slated, and of course, I went ahead and already put my, my copy on pre-order. But uh, Shout Factory has announced that the release date for Time Ranger is July 31st, 2018. So I'm very, very excited about uh, Time Ranger coming out because I have already seen that series subbed. But I really enjoyed Time Ranger because of time traveling and everything that happened in that series. But of course, you'll see that in another Rumble Time. But uh, anyway, well, friends, that is it for this ramble time. Again, I will say this. I do highly recommend this series in particular. So all I can say is good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, this is Eugene's Ramble Time number 14, all on the QQ Sentai GoGo -Go 5 DVD from Shout Factory. And so, my friends, that is it. And I hope you all enjoyed. And my friends, don't forget about my blog. Don't forget my Twitter. Don't forget my Facebook and everything else. Uh, about me and so I'm Eugene I'm signing out and I'll be a good day and my friends almost assuredly see you next time bye friends